Hi, everybody. It's Susan. It's uh, Monday, March 16th. And I wanted to share a few things that were going on around Christchurch today. Um, one is that uh, I'm awaiting a conference call with Mark Molinero at 2 o'clock, which will be a chance for him to speak directly mm -hmm. to both faith leaders in the community and people who have service agencies in their building. So um, I'll be looking forward to hearing his recommendations. Um, the second thing uh, is that after consultation with Hudson River Housing, I'm happy to announce to you that the shelter will be continuing to be housed at Christ Church. Uh, we are going to be moved into um, a facility where our homeless shelter will be a place that houses the most vulnerable populations. Uh, so those over 65, those with underlying health conditions, so that we try and protect them and keep them away from the general population as much as we can, we'll actually be extending the hours that they'll be able to stay at the church through the day. Uh, so we'll continue to keep them housed downstairs, but that will move more toward a 24-hour uh, period, again, to keep their uh, to reduce, rather, their chance of being exposed to other people. Um, the other thing that I'd like to pass on to you is that uh, Catherine, as many of you know, is a chaplain at Vassar Brothers Hospital. Um, she received word today that moving forward, Vassar Brothers is uh, not having any visitors to patients. Uh, so please be aware of that as you make your plans. Um, as more and more of you find us on our YouTube channel, um, we're going to make some adjustments to the way that uh, we broadcast. And uh, your feedback is going to help us a lot in determining how best to bring you sermons and services and music. Um, but today, I want to offer you this prayer from the prayer book. Um, it's for those who live alone, which I know that many of you are experiencing in a different way now. So here's the prayer from page 829 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that, following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We will be offering a daily reflection here and also uh, on Tuesdays at 12 o'clock, we'll be offering a midday Eucharist uh, that also will be televised here and on Facebook Live. Uh, so until then, stay well, be safe, Continue to practice kindness and know that we are praying for you this day and every day. God bless you.